Hi, can you hear me? Hi, can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes, miss. Yeah, okay, perfect. I pensé que no me escuchaban o algo, porque no me contestaban. Hi, guys, it's good to see you again. Ileana, Dalila, ya les tenemos por aquí. ¿Cómo están? How was your day? How are you today? Happy day. <laughs> it was a happy day? Really? Why? Yes. <laughs> Why? <clears throat> what it was a happy day, Ileana? Porque fue un buen día. Cuéntame. Ah, bueno, pues, <coughs> puedo decirlo en español. Ok, ya. Yeah. <ríe> eh, pues, para mí fue un bonito día, ¿verdad? Un... Tuve un día súper genial. Primero porque estuve en mi trabajo y todo fue súper bien. Y, pues, también porque tuve la oportunidad de estar en el servicio en la iglesia. Oh. Ya, casi vengo llegando, casi vengo llegando. Ya, yeah, justo tiempo para la clase, right? Yes. Just in time. <coughs> ok, excellent. Ok, it was a very good day for me too. Yeah, I just, I have been doing my homeworks and um, all of these things that I am doing at the college, right? So, like, I'm doing a very lot of activities right now and i'm going to have my and second exams i think in the next week i don't remember but i think it's the next week so we're going to start with the with the second um exams of this period um so i'm very close right to the end of the, the college i think um because you seem to get Estoy como más cerca del final de, de la universidad cada vez que, que paso unos exámenes, unas actividades, es como una menos, right? So, yeah, I have been doing all my homeworks and um, just cleaning my room. Uh, I, I cleaned my room this, this morning um, and I felt very well to do it. I think I've... I feel more organized when I organize my space, right? Me siento como más organizada cuando organizo um, el espacio en el que habito, right? So, um, I have been doing these things and nothing that, that's, that was, um, that was my day, right? That was my day. Um, I'm glad to hear that Liana is fine. What about Dalila, Harrison, Cynthia, Jose, Abigail? How are you guys? How was your day? Hi, teacher. Uh, hoy fue un día tranquilo, gracias a Dios. Hoy, hoy vamos mejorando la semana. Ok. Ya más, tra ya más tranquilo el trabajo. Yeah. Sí, ha sido... Ya jueves casi viernes, Ay, right? Sí, Ay, sí, ya se siente. Bueno, yo no sentía en qué día andaba para hacerle sincera. Hasta que me dijo una paciente, esta es el día. Yeah, 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 I'm so glad to hear that. Me alegra mucho escuchar que, que está teniendo un mejor día. Yeah, a little bit tired, like every day, right? Como un poquito cansado como todos los días, but better every day, right? Casi se siente el, el viernes, casi se siente el fin de semana to rest. So um, I'm, I'm waiting for the weekend too to rest um, for the university, right? For the college. Um. Yeah, because I have a lot of things to do. 
and nothing um i'm very tired too but i'm waiting for the weekend i understand i understand that you are tired too right todos estamos cansados i understand but hacemos lo posible para que esto sea una clase que sea divertida dinámica y que tampoco les aburra sí que sea de aprendizaje pero que también les ayude a aprender ¿Okay? perdón que les ayude a divertirse también ya que no estén ahí eh, como ya muriéndose ganas por salir, right? Yo sé que a veces es un poquito tedioso, right? Entrar a clases. Oh, it happens to me when I'm going to the college. And it's like, oh my God, I don't want to go um, to this class because it's too boring or because I'm too tired to hear the teacher or something like that. But I'm doing my best because this is for my future, right? So you are doing the same thing, right? This is for your future. You are um, here to learn, to participate, to improve your English and you are doing so well. Even if you are tired, you are so brave, guys, to, um, to all of these things, right? Por es, todas esas cosas, por el esfuerzo que hacen por conectarse a clases, hacer sus tareas, todo eso ya los hace muy valientes y créanme que les va a servir muchísimo en el futuro. So this is all for us, right? El, el esfuerzo que hacemos es para nosotros mismos al final. Al fin y al cabo es para nosotros mismos. So, um... Nothing, creo que ya tenemos 12 participantes, creo que podemos comenzar just uh, recordándoles la plataforma, no se les olvide que esta, esta semana eh, esta semana tienen que hacer la plataforma en la sección número 4 y si pueden ir adelantando la sección número 5, pues sería mucho que mejor para que al final se lo que se queden con el final exam, ¿ok? Que va a ser el examen final, eh, pero por el momento quisiera que adelantaran lo más que pudieran la 4 y la 5. Ok, terminen la 4 esta semana y adelanten lo que puedan de las 5 para que ya al final solo se queden estudiando para el examen final. Ok, and nothing, if, so, if someone of you have any questions about the activities or something, you can ask in the, in the WhatsApp group chat and someone is gonna, is gonna answer to you, right? Si alguien tiene alguna pregunta acerca de algo que no le sale bien, ya saben que lo pueden hacer ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp y alguien les va a contestar, right? Sobre cómo, cómo hacerlo, si alguien ya, ya tuvo algunos problemas por ahí, ya, ya pasó como, ya sabe qué es lo que está poniendo mal, right? Y le ayuda y todo. So you can do it, ¿ok? So don't forget, no se les olvide la plataforma, es muy importante, recuerden que sin la plataforma no vamos a poder pasar de módulo, así que necesito que llenen esa plataforma, ¿ok? Y ya saben que pueden... Eh, hacer sus preguntas en el grupo de WhatsApp. Por otro lado, si alguna personita me ha escrito mi número y no le he contestado, que creo que ya sí, hoy sí ya les contesté todos, pero si alguien me ha escrito y no le he contestado, I'm so sorry, a veces estoy muy pendiente de la U y es como que me cuesta un poquito más estar pendiente del teléfono cuando estoy en clases o haciendo una conectividad, but trato de estar pendiente de ustedes también, right? So, nothing, that's all. That's all for me. So, we're going to start with the topic for today and I'm going to show you my screen. So tell me when you can see it. Avísenme cuando lo puedan ver. Avísenme cuando lo puedan ver. No, no era esta aquí. Ya se ve. Ya se ve. Ok, perfect. So, here guys, we're going to start with the topic for today that is food. We're going to see food, ok? Food is another topic that we can talk about when we are using the simple present. You talk about food every day because we all eat, right? Todos comemos breakfast, dinner, um, and lunch, and the snacks sometimes, right? Algunos snacks en el día. So I understand. And this is like an interesting topic because it's a, it's a topic that you can, sorry, it's a topic that you can use to talk about and to have a conversation with another people, right? To talk about the food because we all eat. It's another um, interesting topic to talk, right? So we're going to learn about the food. 
we're going to learn about the vegetables and fruits and you're going to see that it's very easy and you're going to um, learn about your favorite fruits or your favorite vegetables and how to cook them and all of these things, right? So we're going to start with the with this topic. Remember that it's, it's very interesting because you can use it when you're talking with another person. When, when you want to start a conversation with someone else, you can say, oh my God, what's your favorite food? Remember, you can ask for the music. You can ask for, I don't know, the dreams. You can ask for the house. You can ask for the food, right? It's a very interesting and popular topic. Es un, es un topic bastante interesante y bastante popular también, right? También es un topic que se utiliza muchísimo. Así que es súper importante porque mientras más frutas y más verduras se puedan es más vocabulario que enriquece todo su conocimiento so we're going to talk about this today food this is the first thing that we are going to do and this is just to remember to you that we are using the simple person right now and you're going to use the subject the verb and the complement when you're talking in positive you're always going to use the s with the verb when you are talking with he she and it that is the third person in negative, you're going to use the subject, the auxiliary to or does, depending on the subject, the verb, and the complement. And when you're doing questions, you're going to use the auxiliary first, then the subject, then the verb, then the complement. Okay, that's the way that you're going to use it. This is just um, un pequeño No sé. Perdón. ¿Alguien me habló? Aquí se les... Okay, I think it's going to activate the microphone to someone, don't worry. Okay, um, we're going to start with Good morning, teacher. Hi, good night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happens to me sometimes. It's sometimes good night or good evening, right? But it's not morning, this is not the morning. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Me voy levantando por eso. Ah, okay. That's your morning. Sí. Okay, so good morning to you too. Ay, no, fue el chiste de la noche. Don't worry, it happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. Sí pasa a veces. Ya he dicho buenos días en la noche o buenas noches en el día. It happens sometimes, I understand. Don't worry. Okay? So that was just um, a little review about the simple present. You already know uh, the simple present and how to use it. And I think that you don't have any questions. If you have some, if you have some, you can tell me, right? But if you don't, we're going to continue with the reading time. We're going to have the reading activity and I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm going to share the other screen. Les muestro la otra pantalla donde está la conversación para que comencemos. Okay, can you see it right now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. So I need two volunteers to help me to read. Raise your hand who wants to who wants to help me. Okay, Susana va a ser Adam y me hace falta Amanda. Who wants to be Amanda? Ahí está otra personita. Okay. Connie va a ser Amanda y Susana va a ser Adam. Okay, go girls. Start it. Why do you want for the picnic? Um, how, how about some sandwich? Okay, we had some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. Uh, we don't have any cheese. Do, do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. Um, let's buy some uh, potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Excellent, thank you so much. Okay, look at this, everyone likes potato salads. I, I, I'm agree, right? They are looking for something to eat. Um, Like how about some sandwiches, right? Um, It's like, and they are looking for something to eat 
and um, they are looking in the fridge and they say, oh my God, we can eat some sandwiches, but um, there is some chicken. You can see the chicken at the fridge, aquí se ve el chicken, um, but they don't have cheese, no drinks, right? So they are a, a little a little concerned about it because they need to eat, right? And they are, they are looking for something to eat. So this is how about some sandwiches. And um, this is some, eh, some of the, of the part of this vocabulary son algunos como comidas que se pueden mencionar y quiero que lo repitan todos después de mí. Lo primero es fruit salad. Repeat fruit salad. 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 Excellent. Fruit salad. That means ensalada de frutas, right? Que son esas ensaladas que tienen un montón de frutas. Con mango, con sandía, yes, watermelon, apples, um, I don't know, cherries, and all of these things, right? This is something like this. Okay. This is fruit salad. The other one, repeat after me, cake. 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 Excellent. Cake. Cake, okay. Cake that means eh, pastel, right? That means pastel. Cake that means pastel, okay? And it's another uh, kind of food too. It's a sweet food and I really love it. I love cake. It's, it's good. It's good. It's very sweet, right? This is cake. Okay, repeat after me. Bye. 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 Excellent. It looks like apple pie, but it also can be pineapple pie, banana, um, bananas pie, I don't know, um, and all of these things, right? Se ve como un pastel de manzana, pero también el pastel puede, el pie puede ser de otra cosa, right? This is the pie, que son horneados, right? You need to bake it, okay? The other one, repeat after me, cookies. 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 Okay, excellent. Cookies. Cookies, that means galletas, right? Galletas. It's, um, there is a lot of, a lot of types of cookies. You can eat a lot of types of cookies. For example, I really love las, estas que son como saladitas. No me acuerdo la marca, pero son como galletas saladas que se ponen con el cóctel de camarón. I really love it. They are so delicious. I really love this type of cookies. And I really love cookies with chocolate chips. Um, me gustan las galletas con chipas de chocolate también, como las chips ahoy. I really love it. I'm a really fan of cookies. I, I really love cookies, right? Or the Marilena's cookies. They are so delicious too. This is cookies. And the last one that is ice cream. Repeat, ice cream. Ice, ice cream. cream. Okay, ice cream. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to see this, um, well, now we're going to see this presentation, my presentation, se los voy a volver a presentar. Díganme cuando la vean. I'm so sorry si me ven un poquito um, bostezando, estoy un poquito cansada, but uh, con la, toda la actitud, right? Perdón si estoy bostezando un poquito. En si me ven un poquito bostezando es porque estoy cansadita, but I'm fine. Okay, so we were talking about this. ¿Ya ven mi pantalla? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, so we already did the reading activity and I just have this, uy, I just have this um, food pyramid for the for who for good healthy eat a lot of grains vegetables fruits you can eat um, meat and other protein como uh, carne y otro tipo de proteínas and eat very little fat oil and sugar como comer un poquito menos de de, and de azúcar de grasa right so this is like a pyramid you can see it right here. It's como una pirámide alimenticia. It's just like para que la miren y vean como donde se ubican cada, cada uno de los um, de los alimentos diarios en dentro de la pirámide. For example, at the beginning of the of the pyramid, they have the fat, the oil, and the sugar, like the butter, like cream, 
like candies, like potato chips, like oil, ok, como la mantequilla, la crema, los dulces, las, eh, las patatas fritas o los churros, como nosotros decimos en el español, right, aquí en El Salvador los churros, como la diana, right, el aceite, right, they are eh, um, oil and sugar, right, es que son parte del de azúcar y todas estas cositas. Tenemos por otro lado la meat and the other protein, que son las carnes y todo tipo de proteínas como el fish, es una proteína, eggs, they are protein, beef, la carne, chicken, beans, nuts, que son nueces, nueces, son, ajá, nueces, beans, que son frijoles, los frijoles también son proteína, right? This is meat and protein. You can see the dairy that like milk, cheese and yogurt, que son derivados como de, lo, de la leche o de los animalitos, right? La, la, la leche, las, el, el queso, el yogurt. You can see some fruits like bananas, like apples, like orange, like strawberries, like mangoes. I really love mangoes. We are in like a mango season right now, right? Estamos como en la época de los mangos en El Salvador. Esa es la época en que caen un montón de mangos. So I, I'm, I'm so glad for that because I really love mangoes. Then you have the vegetables like broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, right? They are a kind of vegetables, que son los vegetales. También son muy importantes, vegetales y frutas muy importantes para la alimentación. And then you can see something like the grains, right? The grains, que son como los granos básicos que también se necesitan para poder estar saludables, right? Los granos básicos que se necesitan para poder estar saludable. Um, dentro de estos granos básicos tenemos, por, por ejemplo, el bread, que son el pan. Um, Sí, el, el bread que son el pan, ok, el bread que es el pan. Tenemos por aquí el cereal, todo tipo de cereales. Eh, todo tipo de cereales puede partir desde este de cereals. Eh, we have some crackers. Estos crackers son como galletas, pero de esas que son hechas como de... No, no sé si han visto las galletas de harina o de arroz, no sé qué son las que venden el lido, que son bien secas, pero son bien buenas. Trigo. Ajá, de trigo, eso. Trigo. trigo. Yeah, trigo, right? This is the name, this is the name, right? I'm so sorry. Sometimes I forget how to say some words in Spanish, but yes, it's like trigo is a grain, right? Trigo is a grain. So, um, yeah, this is crackers, que son como esas galletitas. Tenemos rice, que es el arrocito. Noodles, que son pastas, right, como para espagueti, en pasta. Los noodles son como para, son para espagueti. Y luego está la pasta, que también es, bueno, pasta hay un montón de tipos de pasta, right, un montón de tipos. But it's like something like grain. So this is the complete um, healthy pyramid, okay, la, la pirámide completa de alimentación. So this is just that you can see, okay. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta acerca de lo que acabamos de ver aquí, de esta pirámide? No, teacher. No, so perfect. Okay, excellent. So we're going to pass to the other part of our class that is our vocabulary. So we're going to learn first of all about the vegetables, right? So I need you to um to repeat after me. Repeat after me. Lettuce. 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 Lettuce, excellent. What is lettuce, guys? Lechuga. Lechuga. Lechuga, exacto. This is lettuce. Excellent, good job. Okay, this is the first um, vegetable that we have, the lettuce. Okay, que son, es la lechuga. Yeah, it's so important because you can eat it in the salad, for example. You can eat the lettuce with the, um, I don't know, with some onion and with some and tomatoes or something like that, right? Or something like this. This is a lettuce and it's so important for the healthy. Then we have the garlic. Repeat after me, garlic. 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 Excellent, garlic. garlic. Okay, what is garlic? Ajo. Ajo, perfecto, ajo. So important, see? ¿Sí? Alguien me habló? No, no, okay, perfecto, escuché que alguien me habló, okay, garlic, 
This is so important. Para la comida es súper importante el ajo porque le da sabor, right? This is the importance of the garlic. You can, you can um, feel the, a very good taste when you use garlic. For example, the, um, the, the garlic cream, la crema de ajo, I really love it with bread, right? Con el pan. They are so delicious. I really love garlic. It's very good. And it tastes so good. Um, unless that you eat like like this como entero right a mí así no me gusta pero sí me gusta el sabor del ajo en las comidas porque se siente súper rico okay the other one repeat after me onion 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 perfect where it's onion cebolla 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 okay cebolla that's great that's onion cebolla okay the other one, repeat, espina. 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 Excellent. Espina. Excellent. Espina. That means, what, it, what does it mean? What does it mean? Espina. Espinaca. Excellent. This is the espina. The espinaca, right? This is espina. Okay, the other one. This is ginger. Repeat, ginger. 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 Excellent. Ginger. Ginger means jengibre. Jengibre. That's the that's the word in Spanish to say ginger is jengibre, right? This is ginger. Jengibre, right? And it's so good for one of those um type of foods, right? But algún tipo de, de the, the comida, it's good, the ginger. It's the jengibre. Okay? The other one, this is the radish. Repeat, radish. 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 Excellent. What's the radish? Rabano. Rabano. Perfect. This is not my favorite vegetable. I really, I'm not really a fan of radish. I mean, I can eat eat it but it's not my favorite vegetable definitely uh i i prefer to to eat onion even if i don't like onions i prefer onions than radish right but i don't like it um i, I don't like neither right and i don't like uh, either one so no me gusta ninguna de las dos pero preferiría la cebolla al radish right so this is radish and other one is celery repeat celery Celery. 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 Excellent. What is celery? Apio. Apio, apio. exacto. Apio, yes. This is celery. That means apio. Yes. Okay. Tenemos aquí pepper. Repeat pepper. 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 Okay. That means pimientos. Okay. Pimentos. Los pimientos. This is pepper, pimientos. También puede ser pimienta. De pimienta esa ya hecha polvito, right? Pepper. This is pimientos, right? And they are so good for the healthy too. And for some foods, you can eat it with um, the meat, for example, with meat. You can eat it with beans. You can eat it with um, fish, right? With beef. You can eat it with all of that, okay? The other one, this is pumpkin. Repeat, pumpkin. 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 Calabaza, exacto, calabaza. Pumpkin. Excellent. A mí me gusta el nombre en inglés de calabaza, siento que suena bonito. Pumpkin, right? Pumpkin. This is calabaza, and it's like a symbol for the Halloween, remember? It's like a symbol for the Halloween. You can, um, you can eat pump, you can eat pumpkin, um, and it's great, I think. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I think, well, no, les iba a decir que alguna vez comí, pero creo que no, no creo que no que he comido calabaza. I don't know what's the taste of the pumpkin, but it, it, it feels, uh, well, it looks so good, right? Se mira bien buena, no sé cómo sabe, pero se mira buena, right? It, Con mayote. Right? Con mayote? Oh, so it can be, it can be good. Uh, Maybe it can, it can, it can like. Oh, it's different. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Eh, a mí el ayote sí me gusta, me gustan las pupusas de ayote. Antes hacían pupusas de ayote en mi casa y me gustaban un montón. ¿Ya? Yes. Eh, um, ayote, por cierto, ayote se dice como squash, así. Squash, sí. Es ayote, right? Ay, pumpkin soap. Nunca he comido sopa de calabaza, pero suena bueno. Um, tómelo de la tadina. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Sí, sigo un poquito mala de la garganta. Um, ya, ya estoy tomando pastillas para eso. Sí, estoy un poquito mal de la garganta, pero estoy tratando de que me escuchen lo más que se pueda. En a pupusas with garlic. That's amazing. I really love this option. Pupusas with garlic. Like the, um, from cheese and garlic. They are so delicious. I really love it. Okay. We have the green beans. Repeat after me. Green beans. Green, green, green beans. beans. Excelente. Ejotes, exacto, ejotes. ¿De dónde vienen los beans? Que son los beans? Son los frijoles. ¿Qué hizo los beans? Son frijoles. Green beans son ejotes. Que traducido en el español sería como eh, frijoles verdes, pero no les decimos así, sino que les decimos... Eh, algunos les dicen judías y otros les dicen solo los ejotes. Aquí en El Salvador la mayoría les decimos ejotes, no les decimos judías, right? It's like green beans, ¿ok? This is green beans. Ay, no sé. Quiero ver. Ok, repeat after me. Potato. 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 Excellent potato. Okay, you already know what it's potato. You can eat fried potato or something like that, right? Potatoes are so good. Uno de los mis vegetales favoritos son los papas porque siento que se pueden cocinar de un montón de formas y siempre saben buenas. Asadas me fascinan y me gustan horneadas también. So I really love potatoes. That's one of my favorite vegetables. Okay, the other one is cabbage. Repeat cabbage. 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 Excellent. Do you know what is cabbage? Repollo. 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 Repollo, right? Como el que se utiliza para hacer el curtido de las pupusas, ¿verdad? Que se utiliza para hacer el curtido de las pupusas. This is the cabbage, right? This is the cabbage. Okay, excellent, guys. The other one, repeat after me. Cucumber. 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 Les cuento que esta es una palabra que a veces me confunde. Um, como les digo, no soy, no sabelo todo. Clara, claramente también cometo mis errores. A veces me confundo y le digo cucumber. Y siempre se me, se me como que tengo que recordarme a mi, a mi propia cabecita que es cucumber y no cucumber. Es cucumber, right? This is pepino, right? Cucumber. And it's so good when you eat it with the tomatoes cucumber. and the lettuce and the onions. Sorry? ¿Alguien me dijo algo? Yes, miss. Eh, eh, it's cucumber. Sí. Cucumber. 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 Ajá, yo les digo que yo cometo el error de a veces decirle cucumber, pero no es cucumber, como con iu. Cucumber. Right? Ok. The other one, this is cauliflower. Repeat, cauliflower. 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 What is it in Spanish? Cauliflower. 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 Amazing. Cauliflower. You can eat like, for, for example, rellenos de cauliflower, but I don't like cauliflower. And this is not my, um, this is not my favorite vegetable. I don't like it. Yeah, I, to be like, to be honest, I don't like the cauliflower. Um, no, it's very bad to me. No me gusta la cauliflower. Siento que es bastante fea. I don't like the cauliflower. And I don't like it, right? But it, it looks so good. Se ve bastante bonita. Me gusta como se ve, pero no como sabe. Right? It looks great, but for me, the taste, it's not good. Okay, the other one. Repeat, carrot. Uh -huh. Carrot. 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 Excellent. Okay. You already know what is a carrot, zanahorias. Repeat mushroom. 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 Excellent. Mushroom. Mushroom. Okay. That means M. Hongos. Sí, son hongos. O champiñones, como le quieran decir, hongos o champiñones, right? Hongos and champiñones. This is mushrooms. I love mushrooms. They look very bad, but they 
tastes very good. Al contrario de la coliflor que siento que se ve bonita y sabe bien y sabe mal, el mushroom siento que se ve feo pero sabe bien. I really love the pizza with mushrooms. Me gusta la pizza con con hongos. A mí a mí personalmente me gusta bastante la pizza con hongos. Siento que sabe muy bien. So it's cool. I really love mushrooms. They are amazing. Okay. The other one. This is tomato. Repeat tomato. 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 Perfect. Okay. Tomato. That means um, tomates. Okay. Repeat corn. 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 corn, corn, excellent corn. Okay, good job. Repeat after me. Beet, 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 beet. 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 Excellent beet. What do you think that it's beet? Beet. Remolacha. Remolacha. Exactly. Uh, it's not my favorite vegetable, but I can eat it in um, ensalada rusa. <laughs> La ensalada rusa que hacen en Navidad en mi casa es súper buena y me gusta. Y le ponen beet y le ponen, um, what's the other one? Le ponen beet. Potato. Le, uh, potato put, no, potatoes, right? Potatoes, yes. Que está hecha Ajá. de papas, remolacha y. Mayonesa. Mayonesa. Excellent, excellent, yes. That's the beet, okay? Repeat after me: eggplant. 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 Okay. What do you think that is eggplant? Berenjena. Berenjena. Okay. Excellent. Berenjena. That's amazing. Berenjena. Okay. Let's go with fruits. Repeat after me. Apple. 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 Okay. You know what? It's apple. It's manzanas, okay? Repeat after me, apricot. Apricot. Okay, what's apricot? Melocotón. Es melocotón, right? De hecho, el melocotón y el durazno son la misma fruta, ¿saben? Y yo no sabía, pero al parecer son la misma fruta. <laughs> yeah, son la misma fruta. But you can say apricot or you can say peach. Peach es durazno y apricot es melocotón. Es la traducción específica de cada palabra, pero son la misma fruta. Yo y recién me enteré, la verdad, es que lo investigué en internet y me enteré que era la misma cosa. So this is apricot. Repeat apricot. 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 Okay. Repeat after me. Avocado. 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 I really love avocado. I'm fan of avocado, right? I really love Mexican food and they use a lot of avocado when they are cooking. And I love Mexican food, like tortas or tacos or something like that. And with a lot of avocado, I really love it. Okay, repeat after me, blackberry. Blackberry. Blackberry, blackberry excellent. What do you think that is blackberry? <laughs> celular, pensé. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, era un celular cuando estábamos más jóvenes, right? También un celular que era un Blackberry, es cierto, tienen razón. <laughs> inteligentes. <laughs> okay, but ¿Mora? what? Moras. Moras. No, no, no son frambuesas, son moras. Blackberry no. son moras. Sí, Black pertenecen a las familias de las berries que son todas las 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 Ay, se me olvidó la palabra en español para berry. Ay, se me olvidó la palabra en español para berry. It's like... Como fresa. Son familias de... Fresas. No, son familias Mor de vallas. De vallas. Así mora se azul. Llama. Vallas, en español. Mora Pero, azul. Ajá. So, la mora, las moras azules, las cerezas, las frambuesas, todos son parte de las familias de las vallas. En inglés se dice berries. Y esta específicamente es la mora, que es, se llama blackberry, ¿ok? Blackberry. Es mora, ¿ok? Moras. Tenemos después cherry. Repeat cherry. 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 Excelente. You know what is cherry? Cereza. 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 Excelente. Ok. Coconut. Repeat coconut. Coconut. Excelente. Coconut. Ok. Repeat grapes. 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 Grapes are so good. I really love grapes. A mí me gustan muchísimo las, las uvas. 
son de mis, de mis frutas favoritas. I really love grapes. Okay, repeat after me. Watermelon. 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 What is watermelon? Sandia. 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 Of course. Okay, repeat after me. Bird. 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 What's per? Pera. 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 Excellent. Peras. Okay, repeat after me. Strawberry. 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 What is it? Strawberry? Fresa. Fresas. Lo que antes también es parte de las bayas. Las bayas son esas que crecen en, en arbustos. Por eso se les llama así a todas las moras, las moras azules, que son de eh, blackberry, son las moras. Blueberry son las moras azules, por ejemplo. Y yeah. strawberry son las fresas, right? Um, Yeah, like that, okay? This is pomegranate. Repeat pomegranate. 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 Excellent. What is pomegranate? Granada. Granadas. Granadas, exacto. Es excellent. Granadas, amazing. Okay, repeat after me. Pineapple. 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 Pineapple, okay. What is it? Piña. Piña, sí. excellent. This is piña. Okay, repeat after me. Orange. 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 What is it? Naranja. Naranja. Excellent. Okay, repeat after me. Tangerine. 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 Excellent. Tangerine. What is it? Mandarina. mandarina. Excellent, mandarina. Okay, repeat after me, lime. 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 Okay, lime es lima, en realidad. Um, lime viene siendo como lima. Y limón es lemon. Repeat after me, lemon. Lemon. Lemon, excellent. Lemon. Se parecen, pero no son la misma fruta, right? Lime and lemon. So lime es lima y lemon es limón. Okay, lemon es limón. Repeat after me, peach. 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 Peach, peach that means durazno, right? Que es un sinónimo inmediato de, de, de apricot, right? Son sinónimos, peach. And the last one, repeat after me, patient fruit. Patient fruit. Patient fruit. Excellent, patient fruit. What do you think that is patient fruit? Maracuyá. Maracuya, perfect, amazing, okay, excellent. So that was our vocabulary about the vegetables and the fruits. Um, I need to know if someone of you have any questions. Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? No. No questions. Okay, perfect. No. Ok, perfecto, estuvo bastante bien. Estuvo bastante largo este vocabulario porque hay un montón de frutas y verduras y estoy segura que ni las vimos todas, right? Pero les di al menos las principales. So you can see it. Um, this is like just the, the, um, the general fruits in general vegetables, right? Como las generales, los frutas y las verduras más generales. Hay más frutas y más verduras. So you can Google it and investigate it, right? Like um, to, to looking for it, como buscarlo e investigarlo también. This is peach, uh, this is the, sorry, this is the fruits and the vegetables. So if you don't have any questions about it, we're going to have this speaking activity and I'm going to uh, put you in the breakout rooms and you're going to ask to your classmates, what is your favorite food and why, right? Por cuál es tu, eh, tu comida favorita y por qué. Puede que le digan una fruta, una verdura o una comida completa. For example, my favorite vegetable, pueden ser las tres. My favorite vegetable, is potato. My favorite fruit eh, is um, grapes and my favorite food is pupusas, right? Pupusas. Pupusas se les dice así porque pues no cambia el nombre, right? No, porque es un nombre propio. Entonces no se le cambia el nombre en inglés, se le dice pupusas siempre. So I really love pupusas. Um, we're going to do like this, okay? Pueden decirle su fruta favorita, su vegetal favorito y su comida favorita, okay? So I'm going to put you in the breakup rooms.
Ok, ya les envié la invitación y ya saben qué hacer. Go to the break on rooms, guys. See you in a few minutes. Please get into the breakup rooms. People, get into the breakup rooms, please. Okay, los que me hacen falta, please get into the breakup rooms. Entren a las breakup rooms. Okay, los que todavía faltan, please join.
Ok, creo que ya que todos casi volvimos. Ya faltan 20 segundos para que se cierren los breakout rooms. Me faltan algunas personitas que no han regresado. Pero ya casi. Ok, in 10 seconds we're going to get back to this. And we are ready, right? Todavía nos hacen falta algunas personitas. Espero que les haya alcanzado el tiempo. Iba a darles un poquito más de tiempo, pero se nos fue. Creo que se me hizo un poquito largo el vocabulario, but it was great. So I need to know if someone of you want to share the exercise. Raise your hand. Someone wants to share your exercise? Okay, Gabriela, tell me. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gabriela. Hello. My favorite vegetable is carrot, broccoli, potato, and and corn. Mm -hmm. And cab cabbage. Cabbage, okay. Uh huh. And my favorite fruit is watermelon and grapes, apple, pineapple, pineapple, pineapple and that's it. That's it. I love pineapples too. They are so delicious, right? Amazing. Okay. Thank you so much, Gabriela, for sharing your screen. Who for sharing your exercise? Sorry. Who wants to share your, your exercise too? Another one? Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan. I'm listening. And my favorite vegetable are asparagus and tomato. And my favorite fruit is passion fruit. And my favorite food is that of the Caribbean of Costa Rica. For example, uh, rice and beans with chicken. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Yes, okay, thank you so much. Look at this, hay mucha variedad de gustos aquí, ya nos vi. Okay, who wants to share your exercise, uno más? Raise your hand. No les puedo ir preguntando uno por uno, right? Porque son un montón. Me llevaría toda la hora. So, una más que quiera voluntariamente contarme. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite food is pineapple, strawberry. Banana, orange, um, watermelon. ¿Qué me oye? My favorite vegetable is potato, corn, and Broccoli, eh, onion, garlic, garlic, creo que es el, el ay, creo que es el garlic, es el, el ajo, ajá, ajá, uh -huh. eh, green pepper, okay. that's all, that's all. Okay, excellent, guys. You did it so great with the fruits and vegetables. Excellent. You did it great. So tell me if you have any more questions. Is there any more questions or can we finish our class? No questions. No questions. Okay. So if you don't have questions, I'm going to see you tomorrow in class. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.
Bye, guys. Okay. See ya. Take care. Bye, bye, Miss. Bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Take care. See ya. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.